Hey, what's up guys? Miles here. So for a couple of days, I might not be able to post any videos. Truth of the matter is I got swollen eyes and I don't want you to see me like that. So I'll try to share some uh, podcasts with you. So the first one is going to be 15 common collocations with the word time. Now time is one of the most common words in English, but do you know all the different ways you can use the word time? Now in today's lesson, you will learn 15 common collocations with the word time, such as waste time, kill time, it's about time and more. But first, you might be wondering what are collocations? Now collocations are the common combinations of words that we tend to use together. When you learn collocations, it will be easier to put words together into sentences and you'll sound more like a native English speaker. Okay, let's jump into today's lesson. For each collocation, I'll teach you the definition and then give you an example sentence. So the first collocation is spend time, which means to pass your time doing some activity. Here's an example. I spend a lot of time studying English. The second collocation is waste time, which means doing something that is not a good use of time. Stop wasting time playing computer games and get to work. Well, that was an example. The next collocation is make time for, which means to create time in a busy schedule. Here's an example. I need to make time for regular exercise. Maybe I can go to the gym before work. The next one, which you're probably already familiar with, save time. Something that is efficient and gives you extra time. Shopping online saves me time because I don't have to wait in line at the store. Free time. Time in which you have no obligations, nothing to do, you can do whatever you want. Here's an example. In my free time, I enjoy reading, painting, cooking, playing the guitar, studying English. Half time, which means to be available to do something. I'd like to take violin lessons, but I don't have enough time. Next one that I use quite a lot, pass the time or kill time. Do something to make the time pass faster while you're waiting for something else. Example, let's bring some magazines to help pass the time on the train ride. Next one, take your time. You can use as much time as you want, you don't have to go fast. Here's an example. I like all of these computers. I'm not sure which one I want to buy yet. That's okay. Take your time. On time, which means on schedule at the right time. Example, it's important to arrive on time for a job interview. Just in time, which means at the perfect time, soon before something else happens. Example, hi Henry, have a seat. You got here just in time for dinner. Next, have a rough time, which means something difficult or a difficult period in life. Example, I'm having a hard time or having a rough time solving this math problem. Could you help me? It's about time. It's an expression which basically means finally. And don't forget after this expression, you gotta use the past form of the verb. It's about time they fixed the air conditioner in my classroom. It's been broken for three years. To be pressed for time. To be in a rush. To be in a hurry. When you need to do something, you don't have enough time. You can use this expression, I'm pressed for time. Sorry, I can't talk at the moment. I'm a bit pressed for time. Can I call you back later? Run out of time. Which means to have no more time before the limit. I ran out of time because I finished the test, so I didn't answer the last five questions. And the final expression is, take time off, which means not go to work. I'm taking some time off in July to go camping with my family. So I hope you found this podcast useful, I'll soon be back with more. Please share this video, or should I say podcast, with your friends, signing out.